Conversations. Conversations with with S. D. Booker. Booker. I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like to have both both the counterclockwise and the clockwise spin in your body. And and because when I had cancer, very obviously to have cancer, you have to have a counterclockwise spin. Wow. So when we hear, I know you've heard this before, uh, you hear women saying they were the mother and the father of a, of a child. It's just impossible. No. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I never hear so, men saying so, that. I, I never hear men saying I was the mother and the father. It's only, you know, some women that say that. But that's impossible because uh, there's a sacrifice. You're going to give up something. You're going give, to give up your femininity if you let too much masculine energy consume you. So the child's missing out on something. There's no way. There's no way you could be a father anyway as a mother. But you can't be a whole mother if you let too much masculinity come in. I agree. I totally agree. It's just like, oh my, there's so many things you can compare it to, you know. Um, just like, for example, those those ones that say they're a mother and father, the thing is, is I can guarantee you there's men around them in their lives. Brothers, fathers, uncles, cousins, even coworkers, coaches. Yeah, you got to realize that we're you're you're, you're you got to realize that we're drawing. We are drawing on each other at all times with the need. We we need each other. There's no way. There's no completion without the balance of the male and female at all. Right. You can't have you can't have one without the other. Right. How could you have if you plugged in your 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 electrical outlets wouldn't work if they didn't have the two sides of the you know the two sides the positive and negative they wouldn't you wouldn't have lights yeah and it's yeah. the same with our society I and mean, we would have no light so i i i laugh and say if it was just women on the planet we would totally burn it up because that energy would have no outlet it would be wild it would be like a forest fire i agree but if you had all men on the planet, it would become desolate. There would be no, there would be no light. It would just, it would just yeah. decay upon itself. <laughs> right, right. We, we need, yeah, we need one another. Yeah. We certainly need one another. I, I'll tell you something that's interesting. Um, and she's, she's probably going to listen to this, but I'm in business with a, with a, with a woman I grew up with. And uh, she identifies as a lesbian. And when she brought me on or asked me to come on on board, she she said uh, one of the things she said is that she needed some masculine energy, and I thought that was really profound that she would say that and notice that and recognize that she needs some masculine energy in her in her in her company, and I was thinking, wow, yeah. this is this is amazing. When we have uh, women who, who say they're heterosexual that won't even open up and submit to that and say, I need masculine energy. Um, I thought that was just, that was, that was astounding to me. But piggybacking off of that somewhat, when the earth is bruised, when a woman experiences trauma, experiences trauma, how can that be healed? You know, we, 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 we identify the woman as earth and the earth being bruised, her experience and trauma. How can we get by that? How, how can she get past that? How can the man, the masculine energy, help her get past that? Well, there's a lot of things. I mean, a big one is, is actually a, a woman that's been traumatized. One of the, I believe, one of the biggest things that she can do is to ground herself to the earth. Put her bare feet on the ground. How many people are doing that? I can't even tell you enough. I'll just give you an example. So since they implemented this 5G two weeks ago, there's just been a horrendous amount of violence, of car accidents, of things like this, because what it's done is it's put a, a wrong spin. It's, it's people, especially that are close to the towers, it's actually put a, a reverse spin on things. I've got connections that have these meters they can hold in their hand that test the amount of voltage that's building up in their body and that's that's the negative buildup in their body um 
and it's just massive. But one thing that they found is every time they can be holding this meter and it shows massive amounts, as soon as they take off their socks and shoes and stand on the earth, the, the needle goes to zero. Oh. So also I like to go back to uh, Revelations where it talks about you know the end of the time or the end of the age or whatever. And it says the beast, which is the dark energies, the beast threw a, a, a flood out of his mouth to destroy the woman and the oh. earth helped the woman and the earth swallowed up the flood that's the exact scripture now the woman can mean not necessarily just female but it can mean all the people the woman is the intuitive actually the the female energy is love love is a female energy that's why every child starts out as a female because they're created out of love itself, which is God. God is love. Source is love. So it starts as a female energy. But to protect that female energy, there has to be the male counterpart has to come in as a protective force. Because, right. you know, I think we talked one, one other time about, about a candle. I can have a candle. It's in a, in a nice little container. And I light it. And, and I have this flame. It's controlled. It's this flame is burning. I get warmth. I get heat. I get whatever but the instant if, if that container is tipped over that that fire is going to burn your whole house down Facts. that's the, that's the female energy it has to be it has to be contained we can't do it ourselves with if we're staying in our feminine we can't do it ourselves the only way we can do it is to move into the masculine and that's why you see when you move into your masculine it gets it gets really touchy because that's where you see really mean women I mean, right. women that move into their masculine are a hundred times meaner than a man. Oh, yeah. Because oh, no it's doubt. foreign. It's foreign. It's not their natural state. So not only are they, you know, they're going against nature itself. So that energy is still pouring through them because they have a womb, but it becomes a destructive force. No doubt. No doubt. Yeah. Anytime I see a woman uh, who is married or attached to a man, and I see her being destructive, causing mayhem, being a menace, uh, the gossip, just, just, I mean, going on a rampage of destruction. I know it might come off uh, misogynistic, but I always look at the man and say, what, what's going on with you? What are you, what, what are you doing? If a, if a woman's attached to a man and he's not bringing uh, constraint order like what's going on? I always hold the man accountable, you know, and uh, I think that's so important. We have to be honest with ourselves. When women have to be honest with themselves and like, hey, if I'm not contained, if, if you know, I don't have boundaries, I can go out all off, you know, you know, the, the, the grid. And men have to know their yeah. purpose. Yeah, men have to know their purpose and, and not be afraid. Some men are afraid of women. They're afraid of yeah. containing women it's that energy they're afraid of the energy now yeah. i i i would differ on you on one point with you it's not the man's responsibility all the time let's say he gets with a woman that's been traumatized and her her energy is literally spinning in reverse hmm. how is he going to contain it literally it will take him to hell because it's going to suck now now think about this think about a tornado Think about a tornado. It's a sucking force. It literally sucks things up into it from, from where it's, you know, as it moves through an area, pick up houses and everything, sucks it into the vortex. Right. Now think about just a wind, you know, a, a straight wind blowing towards you or a sucking. That That's what's happening. So if, if a woman's force is correct, it's going to blow that energy towards you. You can contain it in a healthy way. But now take a man trying to contain a woman who has the cyclonic energy that's uh, sucking backwards. That's going to drain his life force. He will, it will kill him. Mm 